Hi, okay, so here's part two because I just got interrupted. We're gonna move into the feminine um, energy. I'm hearing we need to switch colors. We're gonna amp up and juice up the energies of the left side body of the universal body so that we can explore how beautifully wonderful it is to have our left and right side bodies beautifully balanced. So if you just give me a great big exhale, we're gonna open up that left hip now and we're gonna release a whole bunch of energy in here. This is gonna take a little bit of time because you're used to so, we were so deeply, we left off so deeply in the ancestry of the masculine side body. That I've been told is actually working its way through and it's time to start really juicing up the left side body, the feminine energy side body so that we can find some balance. Otherwise, our bodies won't really let go of too much energy because if we think we're gonna be, or feel we're going to be a little bit off balance, we slow down and go, wait a minute, I can't release all of that until the left side body, until she's ready, right? To really come to the table and be balanced and have equality with me, equality of purpose, equality of of strength and stamina, equality of, of love, health and well-being, equality of I'm as important as you are. My comfort is as important as your comfort. So we're just clearing all these left side bodies of the universal side body that's showing up today for this video. You're going to receive these clearings and balancings by listening Imagine yourself spreading out nice and thin and wide. Maybe you're laying in a beautiful raft on an ocean that's the perfect temperature, or maybe you're just floating, and you need to do lots of beautiful deep exhaling down at the pelvic floor, and a yes, 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 and let these energies go that we're releasing, because we are here to help you move forward and evolve in a much more highly efficient way, and this is it, folks. So let's let, let's let that uh, left shoulder go. A lot of moms are connected to people's left shoulder. How we wore our relationship with our mom is here. And, and this is a lot about how we wore our relationship with our father is in the right shoulder. So when we have shoulder issues, it means it's time to get some energy work done. I've had many times where I've had to work on my right shoulder. Many people would have had surgery a bunch of times by now, but I didn't have to because I worked with energy to heal it and clear it. So let's just get that really nicely balanced. Oops, what's going on here in the ear roll? Let's get that open. Looks like now I'm erasing the green. So we're gonna go ahead and work with energy, just kind of with my hands for a little while. We want you to see yourself opening your left hip, okay? We wanna see you open that, there we go. We'll blow a lot of energy through there. I see a little bit of glitches in the system. It has to do with trust and love people that have been kind of thrown under the bus by feminine energy. That does not mean that receptive energy is an excellent, healthy, good for you and has everything to do with balance in your life. Everybody needs balance, right? You can't work all day, can't play all day, you can't laugh all day, although we try. <laughs> but we need to be really in good balance, knowing when to act, take action, push something forward and move, knowing when to sit back and relax a little bit, okay? Here we go. I liken this exercise to a really good, powerful yoga class. The ones that actually give you a minute to sink into a pose and actually breathe into that pose before you move again. That's your receptive energy. You're just letting yourself relax in that pose and receive the healing energies that that pose is allowing you to have sink into your body. So let's just move some more energy down here. Let's tie it in with the masculine energy. All right, we're just gonna move some energy. I see lots of energy has to start being clear in your ancestry when it comes to feminine energy. You know, there are all these old school thoughts and ideas of what women are, what women aren't, what they're good at, what they're not good at. None of it's actually true. It's all just passed down ancestral memory and their beliefs and they're mostly false. Women, feminine energy is really receptive energy and women are made up of both receptive energy and push forward energy men are made up of both feminine energy which is receptive and masculine energy which is push forward 
when we can live out a reality of being both is when we are really balanced and we are really healthy. So let's just move some more energy through the ancestry. We just have to keep going until I see the angels and guides and the energies in the room here today that are showing up for you in this universal body. Wow, there's a lot in there. Okay, so we just need to keep going until I see that enough of it has released and we're able to just go downhill. So I want you guys to give me a nice big blow out and a yes, yes, yes. Do your best to relax your left shoulder, the side body, and your left hip particularly, okay? I'm hearing left knee needs a whole bunch. So left knees, knees are childhood memory. So just give me a nice exhale and a yes, yes, yes. There we go. Here we're doing a lot of uh, energy work in your upbringing, okay? When we do circles down below, this is upbringing. This is your timeline, 0 to 14. Sometimes you go up to like 30. It depends on you know how old you are, what kinds of things have occurred in your life, how you've decided to organize things in your body. There we go. And we're going to go back. We now want to do some feminine energy clearing. And when you are in utero, is right what we're doing on right here. So please exhale with a yes, yes, yes. You, a lot of us were really absorbing and marinating in the energies of our moms and their amniotic fluid. Here's, here's when we were conceived, all the energies being cleared around that. But now we're going back through mom's ancestry. There we go, mom's side of the family. So when you do any energy healing, ask your energy worker if they do ancestry work. If they don't do ancestry work, a lot of this is just temporary, okay? When we can get into the deeper ancestry work, that's when things are really released and less likely to come trickling back in, all right? You're less triggered on the physical plane. You want to be able to have that peace and that clarity 